well, one of our GCAT Plus users has kindly allowed us to show this drawing to illustrate how you can use GCAT Plus for a wide variety of drafting tasks. We're in model space now, and this is a, uh, a single drawing that contains a whole lot of parts to construct some new joinery for a house. For example, if we drop in here, there's a, a, a sectional elevational view rather of uh, some bedroom furniture. If we come across over here, we have detail of the kitchen, kitchen elevation with stoves and whatever. If we go into the layout, let's go on to floor plan and I select the floating viewport here. Notice that in the properties box it has a fixed scale of 1 to 100. So scale is set very easily. Um, if we look at room divider and laundry, this time there is a different scale. Let me see if I can pick it up. There we are. There, so there are two floating viewports on this particular layout. Um, let's just stick with that one there. And it has a fixed scale of 1 to 20. I'll just click in there to make sure it stays as a flix, fixed scale. And let's have a look at this one. And I'll do the same there. So can you see that GK Plus is quite versatile. You could use it to detail um, some outdoor cooking area, outdoor kitchen area, or detail a particular water feature that you wanted to con or to be constructed. So it's very versatile. Notice also that this designer has changed some of the settings in the layout space. You may well have noticed that the crosshair cursor is green in colour. And when we come back here to the model, notice that the background in model space is also a grey background and they can be changed in the drawing settings box. So if we go to tools and drawing parameters or you can see here's the change made to the model cursor, paper cursor and model background and so on. These little minor tweaks to your copy of GCAD Plus can make it behave in the way that you are most comfortable with. So I hope that helps illustrate how versatile GCAD Plus can be.